All right. So for Matt, the second question here I got from Alan is this. Question from Matt. Matt, last year I deployed three times for, a, I'm filling in the blank, a very large company <laughs> in our space handling property and wind hail claims. The money was great, but with only seven weeks of deployment, the off season has been very difficult. I think Jeremy Reddy's got something to say about this. Seven weeks last year. I don't think he worked seven weeks last year. Uh, it's been very <laughs> difficult. Do you think this season will be any better? I know there's no guarantee of the big win from the East. Uh, if not for Dorian, I may have stayed deployed longer. I, I didn't bail on Chicago to chase the storm, but to return home to protect my family from the depict, predicted path. So it sounds like he might have left a storm early too, which is tough to recover yeah. from as well. So yeah. Matt, I'll let you start, but I think Reddy's got something to say on this. You do. So the question, <laughs> let, me, let me see if I get this right. So the question is, is like, what do you do in the downtime? And then what do I think about like, is it going to get year? better? Last year was so bad. Is it going to get better? Because he only deployed for seven weeks last year. That's the basic gist. So I'll just put it this way. And Jeremy, I'm sure you can back me up on this. <clears throat> we go into this with open eyes, right? We know that, especially if we're doing just cat in particular, which I did like almost exclusively cat up until like two years ago. Um, well, sort of, more or less. So if, you do, if you're just doing cat, like... I worked every single year, right? Whether it was freight weather, whether it was a hurricane, or whether it was like nothing on the news, I'm still getting a phone call. Hey, Matt, we got a three inch hail in Kearney, Nebraska. 10,000 people live there, right? It's me and two other guys. And I spend the summer there, right? Um, and then you go on like Facebook or you go on uh, catadjuster.org, if that's even still a thing, and people are complaining about it how is, there's no work. And, yeah. um, so I think the, the key for that. And I'll just I'll, I'll try to be brief on it, but the key is to is to is to do what we're talking about, and that is is to to get your skills up, right? And to I don't know what's going on with James down there. <laughs> he's eating dinner. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing the Joe Rogan right now. He's going yeah. off screen to do something yeah. else. <laughs> Um, and, and to, and to learn and to more and way more important than even that, I mean, because you can kind of build your exact skills and all that stuff as you go. And, and that is to, is to learn how to be efficient, right? Because the faster you are, the more you can kind of pad your, your sort of like rainy day fund, because you know that it could be, you get a late start on the season, right? I'm a, I'm a hail adjuster way before I'm ever a hurricane adjuster. I've worked six hurricanes in my entire 21 year career, right? That's, yeah. and that was, and it was like, they're the, the big ones, right? We have yeah. years, several years in a row where there's nothing, right? We had three years mm -hmm. in a row. We had Matthew, what, 2016. Then we had yeah. Irma and Harvey. And then we had Florence and that other one, right? So, and then we Dorian? had Dorian or, do the right hand, do the dog yeah, leg, and, yeah. right? So yeah. then, then after that, there's nothing, right? So, and it, there might be nothing this year. I, it's impossible to predict, right? We can't, we can barely predict the weather three days out, let alone six months from now. Because hurricane right. season will peak in, you know, September, starting in mid-August, peak in the middle of September, and then back down into the middle of October. And that's the big, they say hurricane season starts in May. And, you know, hurricane season starts in August, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I'm not right. paying attention to much right. before that. Um, so do I think that anything is going to, what's it going to be like this year? Um, no clue. But I can tell you, doing CAT, that I've never had a year where, especially after most in particular after i had um developed relationships with my ia firms and became a trusted resource for them i always said yes I always said yes they'd say hey, matt we got this one six hours away yeah no problem i'll take care of it just send it over you know i'm not like ah oh, right. sure you got somebody else that's too far no 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 yes sir I'll, I'll get this one off of your desk and take care of it right and then, okay, right. bye. And you're off the phone. I'm not like complaining about it. I'm not asking if I'm getting mileage. I'm not, you know, making a big deal. I'm taking care of that for them. And they remember that. I managers remember that. Carriers will remember that. And you'll get assignments. You'll, right. be, you'll be working when other people aren't working. Right. So that's right. that's my advice for people who, if you're worried about the, the feast or famine thing, it's, it's a whole new world. Right. It's something that's like we, we've been saying this. It's not for everybody. But if you are willing to, you know, prepare yourself for it and have things to do in the downtime to generate income so that you can protect the money that you did make on your the deployment or your assignment, keep that money safe so that, you know, and then deliver pizza, 
be a bartender, do Postmates, you know, do uh, auto claims on demand <laughs> stuff. Do auto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Do do auto claims <laughs> for crying out loud. I mean, it's like I didn't even know about that until like last year. And Chris is like, oh yeah, man, totally. Just, you could just jump right into auto. I'm like, what? I could be telling people that. So, and that's that's yeah. it. That's a you just slide into it, and then if you get the deployment, you can slide right back out, right? And photo assist stuff. I mean, people will complain about it, but it's not going away, right? It, it's here to stay, and we might as well you might as well take advantage of it. And they're getting competitive with some of these what they're paying for this stuff, right? So, yeah, um, I don't know, Jeremy, if you want to jump in on this one a little bit. Wait, wait, before we turn Jeremy loose, I got I got five seconds. I got to say before we let Jeremy loose on oh, yeah, this because yeah. I know he's going <laughs> on a tirade. It's never going to end here. Now, two things. Two things. I know nothing about property. I've never scaled a roof, nothing. But everything I've learned from these guys, uh, from Kagan, from Jason Heenan, two things. Network, okay, and resume is all that matters to getting work, in my opinion, other than your quality product like Matt's saying. But to get the first claim in your box to prove the point, network, resume, and that's why Reddick's the man on this, so go. <laughs> All right. So let's th th thanks a lot, Chris. Um, and, and guys, if you're watching this right now, I'm not sure if Chris's uh, video is is working for you. If it's not, just hang tight. Um, so. All right. So the direct question that he posed and correct me if I'm wrong here. Uh, was this basically is this year going to be better than last year? Is that was that the question? Basically. Basically. Uh, all right. So there's no answer to that, man. I mean,